In this problem, we want to identify the best way to describe the impedance of ferrite beads. A ferrite bead is a passive component that can help to attenuate high frequency noise in certain situations. Ferrite beads are mounted to circuit boards. Ferrites on cables, on the other hand, are usually called ferrite clamps or just ferrites. Ferrite beads consist of a lossy ferrous material packed around a conducting wire. At DC, they have very little impedance. At higher frequencies, the time-varying magnetic fields induced in the ferrous material cause power dissipation that results in an overall resistance. The impedance of a ferrite bead consists of both a resistance and a reactance that are functions of frequency. Here's a plot showing the impedance of one particular ferrite bead. At some frequencies, the magnitude of the reactance may exceed the magnitude of the resistance. At those frequencies, the impedance could be viewed as that of a lossy inductor or a lossy capacitor. However, at the frequencies where the ferrite bead is designed to be most effective, its impedance is best described as a frequency-dependent resistance. The best answer to this problem is C. Here are some important points about ferrite beads. They're designed to be primarily resistive at certain frequencies. Different ferrite beads target different frequencies, so it's important to specify a particular bead for each specific application. Like inductors with ferrite cores, ferrite beads can saturate if the current exceeds the specified maximum. Saturated beads lose their resistive properties, so it's important to choose beads that can handle the current in the specific application. There are trade-offs associated with the ferrite bead size, maximum resistance, bandwidth, and saturation current. Any recommendation to put a ferrite bead in a particular spot on a circuit board should include a description of the desired parameters for that bead.